Hi there. It's Nathalie and uh, Kitty No. <laughs> Kitty No and I are going to show you how to make this beach bag made out of uh, dryer mats. Uh, <laughs> And now I'm tickled. Okay, these mats that I found, the dish drying mats that I found at the Dollar Tree, and uh, a, a cup towel and a couple of uh, crossbody bags. Anyway, I think it's going to be a fun project. Uh, this is an easy, cheap, fast, and easy project, under 30 minutes, about $5. Uh, anyway, so let's get going. You may not want to use your bag for a, a cat. You may want to use your bag for a swimsuit or something at the beach or some, some other kind of something. But anyway, it's just her size, and uh, so she loves it. So I hope you all enjoy this video. This is the only time she's helping me in the video. Get in the bag. Get in the bag. These are from the Dollar Tree. So from, for this project, we're going to use two of the dish drying mats, these little tropical ones that I just found, a dish cloth uh, drying towel, and then uh, I didn't have enough to make a strap out of this fabric, so I found these two crossbody bags at, also at the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to cut this off and get rid of this to uh, use these for my straps. So let me remove my tags and then show you how to get started. I'm going to remove these straps. So I've got my tags off of here. Just cut this off. I don't know if I'm going to do something with this later on or not, but uh, we'll see. All right, and then this, I'm going to, uh, on the inside, there's this, this little part that's right here. And then on the inside, there's this is stitched together. So I'm going to cut that in there. And then I can slide this out and then get these pieces off. And that's caught on that stitch. And I'm going to cut where this stitched, where it's stitched together right here. I'm going to go ahead and before I cut it off, I'm going to make sure that this is the length that I need, and I think it is. Yes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this right up close to that stitching and do the same thing over here. So I'm cutting in this section, you know, I think I need a little bit more light in here. It's kind of dreary today. So I'm going to open this up again and cut that part where that stitching is. Make sure that I'm cutting that short part, not the long part. Pull that out, pull this little piece off, and uh, we'll go ahead and cut that at that stitching area. And then, let's see, we'll cut this off at the bag, and then again, we'll keep that for I don't know what, but we'll see. All right, now we'll see about how long these are. Make sure they're the same length. It's a little bit different there, so trim that to, to the same length. So the next thing is to cut, this is going to be our pockets on our tote. So I'm going to cut this, fold it in half. I'm going to use this uh, finished edge. I could have bought two. If you find two of them, you could fold it and then you'd have like an inside lining. But I'm just going to, since I only got one of these before they started running out, I'm just going to do this, and so I'm going to cut, cut this in half. Okay, so I'm going to line this up and get my pin cushion. Okay, and then I'm going to measure in five inches. 
and pin this in place. Make sure this is still five inches at the top. And it is. And then making sure that my strap is not twisted. And come over here and start at the bottom again and do five inches on the other side. This is going to be, we'll have three little pockets. Actually, this will have six pockets, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, repeat this with the other side. So now we have our front and our back, and we're going to go to the sewing machine and stitch this all together. All right, we're ready to get stitching, so I'm going to stitch uh, this top little pocket area down to the uh, drying mat first and uh, so we'll do a, a back stitch to get that secured and I'm just stitching right along that edge now we'll stitch the straps down Now across this top area, uh, because of the pressure that might be on here, I'm going to backstitch this like uh, several times. Get that excess out of the way there. Let's fold that over. I'm going to stop here for just a second and turn this and do the same thing. Just give this a little reinforcing stitch back and forth across that pocket area. Probably doesn't need as much as the other one, so just back and forth. with the other piece. Okay, I have both pieces are stitched, their handles are done, and so I'm going to put these right sides together like this and match up my corners. Put a little pin and we'll do the sides first and my, my pockets actually match up, so let's do that. And let me see if I can get my hand out of the way for you. And I'm going to do a half inch seam. I'm going to put my presser foot, the edge of my presser foot, to the edge of this surging stitch. It's going to give me just a little bit wider seam. And I'm going to back stitch several times. Now we'll stitch the bottom, match my handles, now if you wanted a flat tote, you could stop right here and this, this would be finished, it would just be a, a little flat tote and that would be fine, we'll book satchel, put a sticker laptop or tablet in, I think it would probably hold that, but I want this to have a little flat bottom like we did on the other little beach bag tote that I made. And so what we're going to do, get these strings off of here, let's get this back. I'm going to open this up and match my seam. And I can feel in here where my seam is, and I'm going to go in two inches. 
So I have my ruler and I'm going to go from the where the seam where it joins together two inches from that seam. Mark this with a pen right there and where it kind of hope opens the the seam up and then I'm going to do that on the same on the other side. Flatten that out. We're going to try to go straight. Make sure my seam is open on the bottom side. There we go. One more thing that I want to do is where this seam is open like this, I want to just stitch that flat across just in both of those little seam areas. So just a little bit, go back and forth, and that's it on that one. And I think that'll give that a, a, a pretty finished edge even though this is a surged edge. Get that excess off of there. Again, this is a cheap, fast, and easy. This project was around $5 and a little tax, so whatever your tax rate is, uh, probably about a half an hour, maybe, depending on your skill level and, you know, machine set up. I have machines already set up and ready to go. And on the corners, did I just say this? On the corners, you can trim them off and like do a little zigzag finish or just go ahead and just turn it and leave that excess in the bag. Either way. Got that matched. There's our little pockets. Get the thread off of there. I think I need to give this thing a haircut. Okay, one more thing I decided to do. This is kind of an afterthought. I've got a green button and a yellow uh, hair, elastic hair tie thing. And I am going to make a little button loop. You don't have to do this, uh, but I think I want to do this. And so I'm gonna mark my halfway, like fold, where my straps match and mark it halfway with a pin right there and that's where I'm going to put my hair tie. Now I'm going to do that to the inside. You can do this by machine or you can do it by hand. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm just going to do it by hand. All right. So uh, I already have my needle threaded and I'm going to catch the very middle of that hair tie with just a couple of stitches. There we go, and I see a little loop there. There we go. Move that pin out of the way, and then pull this together. And then I'm going to stitch one side. I'm going to close the loop where it's not just like gapping open. And so I'm moving to the other side with that. Let me get that loop out of there. There we go. Okay, so I'm closing up the gap. So when you look at the from the front side, that's what it's going to look like. And I'll do it a couple of more times just to make sure that I've got, a, got it caught really good. Now I'm going to go across both of the elastic parts just like that and close that up like that. See if you can see that. Yeah. Okay. 
and then tie this off. So the way I tie off a threaded uh, loop is usually I will make a little figure eight loop in and so that it makes that little eight shape and do it one more time. Pull that loop, make an eight shape Okay, there it is even. So I just twist the needle one time and that makes the little eight. And if you go slow, then you won't wind up with a big old uh, knot that you're not intending. All right. So then on the other side, I'm going to mark the halfway spot on the other side and sew my button on. And I'm going to go ahead and use this hot pink thread because I think that'll be cute. So mark my halfway and scoot down just a little bit to put my button. Like about like that. Got a knot in my thread. Cute. Now you can make that loop a little bit tighter if you want to, but then this is just going to kind of help it stay closed Whoops! Uh, when you have a few things in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little project today. Uh, I hope you'll find it was easy to, to make this little beach tote. Uh, out of the drying mats and a dish towel and a couple of crossbody bags just taking this off. Hey, give me a little thumbs up, subscribe. Be sure and visit my blog over at My Hall Closet. I've got some other DIY projects over there. And I hope you have a blessed, wonderful day. See you next time. Bye.